Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the iStack uh, rotors. This particular rotor is the RT86, uh, the uh, IS6 bolt type. As you can see it comes with the instruction manuals, uh, what is called tightening plates and the six bolts. Just a quick note, some of the user manuals still refer to this uh, fixing washer. Um, however, this doesn't come in the box, so just disregard that instruction, just use the tightening plates. The other thing that's uh, wrongly suggested here is that uh, once you have this uh, tightening plate installed, you should uh, bend its edge against the screws. Well, the screws provided are a round head, not these ones. So, and what you can see here is a slightly different looking tightening plate as well. So with the provided tightening plate and screws, this operation is not needed. And by the way, as you can see here, the tightening um, torque recommended by Shimano is between two and four Newton meter per each bolt. Okay, before getting it installed, let's take a closer look at the disc. What I have here is a 160. Uh, the one at the bottom is the 180 that I uh, plan to install at the front. Uh, there's two sides to this disc. This is uh, one direction only and uh, it can only be installed one way. You can see this spider protruding out on the inside. On the outside you have all the little uh, instructions or information etched on the surface. The little warning label here is just referring to touching the brake surface which is not recommended with the bare hands. You can see the sense of rotation right here and also uh, these these are the RT86 SM RT86S made in Japan and one last instruction here is the minimum um, thickness of the disc if you're getting down to 1.5 millimeters they recommend uh, you replace it so with that being said um, let's get them installed so I'm going to install this on a bone trigger rhythm comp wheel set. Uh, what uh, the wheel set came with is Avid brakes and I do have the Avid G2 clean sweep ro rotors. It, they do work okay with XT brakes but uh, uh, this will just complete my um, brake replacement. So let's get to it. The only tool you need for this operation is really a T25 screwdriver. I have here a torque wrench as well. Uh, and I'm going to use it only because I have it, but uh, you can get away just by using a regular T25. Alright, the six screws removed. These only have Loctite, and I'll save them for later. Here comes my uh, good old Avid G2 disc. And time to install. The new. I'm, repla I'm replacing these ones with uh, the same dimension uh, only because the braking was powerful enough in the past with the G2 rotors I expect to, to get a bit more modulation out of this. Okay, the, I mentioned earlier that the two things provided by Shimano are these uh, tightening plates and you have three of these and you have the Torx T25 screws uh, Loctited already. Uh, these are round heads uh, despite of what's being suggested in the documentation. So all you have to do is just use those uh, tightening plates, put the screws through it with the Loctite and that gives you two ways of securing this uh, screw in place. One is the Loctite, one is this uh, little notch of the steel plate against the uh, screw head. Okay, I installed the one, two, three plates, they just sit in there, and then I had the six screws. I wouldn't use any sort of electrical screwdriver or anything like that when you're starting these screws. Most of our hubs are aluminum anyway, so just start them nicely and easily by hand. As you bring the screws closer, can you hear that? You start hearing the uh, screw head touching the tightening plate. So that's my sign to stop, meaning that I, uh, I, I brought the screws, hear that, hear that, so I have all the screws close to. Alright, the secret to installing this properly is to putting equal pre pressure 
on the disc. So in order to do that you're trying to use a crisscross pattern for tightening the bolts. So I'm just going to tighten them snug with uh, my screwdriver and then I'm going to take the torque uh, tool. So, snug, just go across, snug already, go across, snug, go across one more time, snug, and go across. I go across. And finally, here comes the uh, torque wrench. This is set up for four Newton meters. And uh, first cross pattern again. These screws are pretty shallow, so that's why I'm keeping a bit of pressure here on the head, so otherwise it doesn't just uh, step out and uh, ruin the, the screw head. But um, that's pretty much it. I have them uh, equally torqued. All I have left is just to remove this uh, silly warning label from here. Get that out. And uh, clean up the disc with a bit of alcohol and I'm good to go. I hope you found this useful. Until next time, thanks for watching.